Okay, so this match has ended 2 2 in Maseru, <coughs> 9 0 in Endola. It is an African Cup of Champions Club's record in that the tie, Chitali scores nine goals in total and seven in the match at uh, Ndola. But they've not actually acknowledged this as a proper record. How do you feel about this? That uh, Chitali scores nine in the tie, seven in that match, both of which were African Cup of Champions Club's records no, at the time. It, it, it's very wrong if that has not been taken into account. The guy, the, the guy may, the latest he may be, but the guy deserves his credit. Mm -hmm. it, should, it, it should have gone on record. These are, these are the people that we, we need. These are the, the, these are the, the, the people that we need for Africa to know. <laughs> because seriously, I mean, now the world is now a small, a very small village, mm -hmm. and we have a number of stars that come from, you know, from all over. And Africa has got has, has got its, its, its still has got its due. Mm -hmm. um, I don't follow football too much now, of late, because I think I, I live in the rural areas, and uh, most of the time, I mean, I'm a self-made man. Got a small contract and I run around with my job, you know, to keep alive. So I don't have much time to 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 to, to, to watch and to follow football because I think I lost interest. This is quite controversial. I lost interest in 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 football in the city because of the recognition that some of us didn't get. You know, you don't, you don't take a guy who doesn't know anything about football and you want him to have a bunch of guys that know something about football. That's my take. Okay. That's right. <coughs> so that's how I lost interest. But I've, got, I've, 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 I've coached a number of guys that actually likes, my, like my style of play, mm -hmm. that some of whom have, have seen, saw me at a very early stage when they were quite young and they, they, they knew the black cat. When we mix, they say, look, uh, I still want some of the tricks that you had. So those are not tricks, it's just the jewels and the working hard, I think. <coughs> this record, as I say, it's not been acknowledged. They're not denying it. They're just saying we need to have proof that it happened. Do you have any doubt at all that you played in this match, in both matches, the first one ended 2-2 in Maseru, mm -hmm. that Godfrey Chitanu scored both goals in the four Cowboy Warriors in that match, yes. and that in the return leg two weeks later, it ended 9-0, Samford and Vulu scored one, Boniface Simitori another, and the other seven were scored by Chitanu. Chitanu yeah. Do you have any doubts? I don't have a doubt of that. I don't have a doubt of that. I don't doubt anything. I mean, that, that's, mm -hmm. that's a true reflection of it. I mean, the true stories of exactly how it happened. I was the guy at the receiving end. She tell us how to a guy punching. Mm -hmm. So, this is the true the recollection. Mm -hmm. I mean, you reminded me of a number of things through your research. This is exactly what happened. Is it time, nearly 50 years later, that Africa celebrates that Godfrey Chitalu holds the record for African Cup of Champions Clubs for the tie and for a single match. I'm sure he does. It, 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 this is time that somebody, somebody must come up and say, I mean, Chitalu did it. And if, if, I'm, if I'm to say it, I'll be, be quoted, I, mean, I would say that. Mm -hmm. Chitalu, Chitalu put, his, put his heart to it all. I mean, he did it for Africa. Now that we've taken it continental, yes. Your own <coughs> career facing a number of strikers. Did you ever face a striker as good as Chitali? Not as good as him. There were still some good strikers, mm -hmm. but not as good as him. He was, he, like I said, he was unique. Mm -hmm. He had his own way and he actually prevailed. 
Uh, I spoke to some of the people at uh, Les Uto FA yesterday, yeah. and they were saying these matches, even though you know, Les Uto lost, had a great impact on Les Uto football because they wanted to play like Zambia. And yes. They wanted to play like Chitali. So they actually learned and developed, and he played a role in the development he, of Les Uto football. He, he did. He did. He did. He did have. He, I mean. He had a role in some of um, some of our guys there. I mean, there's a guy. What's the foot? What's his name? It was a practice match in the national side, and um, he kicked a beautiful shot with his left foot, and it stuck the pole and got back. And he said to me, "I'm going to do it like Chitaro next time." <laughs> I still remember that. He said, and he said to me, "I'm going to be your Chitaro because I know you feared him." I mean, the guys would say, would teach and say things like that. I said, "You try, you try it, my mate. You might win." You know, they they, they idolized him. There are a lot of people that actually idolized. Him. And Did he know that? He knew it. I, 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 when I met him, I was in Kitwe. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd gone to Zambia. We gone that. We gone there on a work camp. On a on a work camp. And then I happened to meet him. And then uh, he looked at me and he said, Hello, buddy, how are you? He said, Man, I've had a, I've had a bad time with you. And uh, you know, we started talking. And then that's how I got to know how he actually did his thing. He said he used to practice by torchlight. His accuracy, his accuracy came from a lawn and playing by torchlight. He put a pole. And somebody would shine the light on the pole, and he would practice kicking the ball to that pole in the night. That's what he said to me. Then I could I easily believed him because most of the balls that he kicked actually hit that pole. I'm talking about the, the, the you know the, the supporting pole in the net, in the back of the net. Mm, the stanchion. The stanchion, yes. Happy. I don't know if you still watch football much, but did you do you see anybody? in African football that reminds you of Chitalu or you would look at it and say he's actually better, even better than Chitalu? Not better. Because let me be honest with you. The, the, the standard of football in Africa, these years, I mean I'm talking about these years of late, mm. it's not as good as the standard of football we had then. Football then had some kind of flair, which we don't have now. Mm -hmm. We had individual, you know, individual flair, and then we had team flair. Of course, so most teams don't have it now. It's, not, it's like business. And as it is, I mean, you never show whether these guys are going to win or lose. And there's always a confusion. I say, a team consists a goal, you see some confusion. You don't see a team building up to cover in the goal. How highly would you rate Godfrey Chitabu in your top 11 of African players? As a striker, number one, because I can't put anybody before him. It's not one that time. Well, drop by, there's, a, the guy, there's this guy who played for, 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 for Chelsea. I actually like it. Mm. Drug bar would be number would be number two. I think I like it because I like drug bar and I like the way he played. Mm. I'll put drug bar as number two. Ito three. Okay. So that would be your strike. Yes. That would be my strike. Yes. <coughs> and you'd play three up front, no doubt. And that's what that's it. <laughs> yes. It's like my time is running out, so yep. you're enjoying yourself, and I'm enjoying this, but not my okay, time. Okay, shall we? Uh, another point. Here. All right, let's. Uh, the last thing then is there anything else you'd like to add about Lesotho football, about Chitalu, and uh, well, anything you want in terms of football? Um, let's talk about Lesotho. Okay. This, this what this. I mean, this what annoys me. This what makes me. I don't even want want to to watch football. We, we tried to build a, what you call the the football federation of, of veterans in the suit, of which I'm a member. But every time we go to the higher class, which is in the front, 
the rest cannot pay her the way we hit her, we hit her walk. Because those guys are not giving us what we want. That's what I said to you. I said, you don't put the guy who never played football and put him in charge of football. He doesn't know anything about football. He doesn't know any problems that the footballers get. So, Lefa has a lot of money. They get, they get given money. The Sudo Sports Council gives them for money. The, or the ladies. It's called, what is it called? It's not Council, it's called uh, Sport what? Whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. The government gives this, it gives, it gives a Lefa. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lefa does not develop the football pitches in the country. Mm -hmm. the, the FIFA also gives this to some money. Yeah. You don't know where that money goes to. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I, I would say I see it when there's a there's development. Or if they start developing youngsters at an early age and bring the, the guys up to a certain level. And again, I want to point the finger at this as being politically motivated. Because you have a sports <coughs> minister who knows nothing about football. I mean, who, who, who knows a little bit about sports, but who doesn't pay attention to what's going to be happening. That what's going to happen. They don't. They don't, don't pay attention because they don't. Pay, they don't. They don't pay a hoot. They don't care a hoot about it. And this is why our football. Let's talk about football because that's a sport that I can think I know better. That's why our football cannot improve from where it is because the coaches that will be or the coaches that they are will do their level best but they don't get the backing from the authorities. Yeah. During our time, um, we had, I'm sorry to say this, I'm not being political, but we had a prime minister then who actually would go out to the football match and watch the game. And then from there would have his comments. And he would go to an extent of interviewing, not even interviewing, just commenting, asking you one player or a coach there. What, what, what do you guys need to, for, for this game, to, for, for, the, for, for the sport to, 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 to shine or whatever? And people tell, tell him that really what they felt and so on and so on. He, he would talk to his ministers and say, Look, let's, let's do something about this. And something would be done. Talk about the Stoto Stadium now. That pitch, I mean, the prime meter of the time, actually got someone to get it to to a level of the world, of the by the world. Politics again. The most important, the, the most thing that actually drops our football and our sport in general in the super, it's politics. Last question. Yes. Pierre Ndai Mulamba, the late great Congolese player, yeah. Yeah. was asked who he thought was the best African players of all time. And he said, Ibrahim Sunday, he, he said, I'll have a two. Ibrahim Sunday and Godfrey Chitali. Mm -hmm. And then he said, I hope they're looking after. He died in the Gabon plane crash. I hope they're looking after his family. I was going to, I was going to say that he wanted me to, come, to, come, to comment further. It broke my heart when, when, when the crash, when the, those guys crashed. And to know that Chitali was not playing. He said, I'm what a way to go. And I was thinking, I don't know whether Chita was married or I didn't know, but I said, I only hope. In fact, I was not even thinking about Africa. I was thinking about his country. I said, I hope his country recognizes him and does something for his family. You know, even if they don't give them money or whatever, but to show recognition that as a country they feel here was one of our heroes. He was a hero in his own making. That's, what, that's the way I think about it. What I was asking or planning to ask from this is, do you think that African football does enough to look after the legend of the past, like yourself, like Godfrey Chitalu, like uh, uh, several others? No, it's not, it's not. What do you think needs to be done? A lot of things. A lot of things. For instance, if we have a legend, we, we, we would dedicate some of the some of the matches, some of the tournaments to that legend. That goes a long way. It goes a long way even to those that are coming up, that at the end of the day they're going to be recognized should they do good in football. 
you know, when you when you went towards the goal, you set you, you set the pace. I want to I want to reach that point by such a time, and you work your, you you work yourself up to it. But if you don't have if you don't have a target, you know you, you just you just run around like a headless chick. That's all I can say. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thank you. How do you go about doing this? Yeah, uh, let me switch off.